Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Munchie bringing you guys another video guys I just want to thank you so much for the love and support you gave me on yesterday's video The skin actually did not release. I was off by a little bit. I know it's gonna release this month So stay tuned. Don't worry. The giveaway is still happening. You guys killed it with 5,000 likes So I'm going to be picking a few winners from the video that gave the video a thumbs up Left a comment and followed me on Twitter. Now with that being said don't worry about it. I got you guys covered. If you guys want, give this video a thumbs up. If we can make, I don't know, say if we hit a 5,000 like goal again, I'm going to be doing another giveaway. So it's up to you guys if you want another giveaway. It's all depending on you. But with that being said, we're going to cover some skin concepts that could be coming to the game. Now keep in mind, these are just fan requested concepts, fan art that they made within the game that's saying this would be cool if they brought it to the game. Seeing that Fortnite Battle Royale, the Epic Games, they've really listened to the community. They could be bringing some of these in the game. If you guys don't remember, I did a video a while back doing a concept video and we covered the Black Panther and the Deadpool skin that could come to the game. But I told you guys that I don't think they'll personally come to the game, just these two in general, because it's based off another movie. So they're not really going to have like another movie's characters in the game because then they're going to have to pay for the rights. And then a lot of people are going to be seeing superheroes all over the place and it's not really going to feel like Fortnite. So that's why I said, in my opinion, I don't think they'll bring those two characters to the game. But we're going to cover a whole bunch of new skins that they can bring to the game because these are original ideas and they are not really stolen from anywhere else. But with that being said, let's get into the video. So starting off, we have the most famous skin that a lot of people know about. It's the meme. The meme that everyone has seen with the guy with the flame shirts. He's cooking. He's got spiked blonde hair. That's one of the skin concepts that they have called Flavortown. A guy over on Reddit named Kicker36 made this. He posted it with 35.3 thousand upvotes, which is a lot for Reddit. And this is what it looks like, guys. It's freaking hilarious, man. I mean, the dude's wearing a flame shirt. I don't think this will come to the game, honestly. But he's got tattoos. And then the, the weapon of choice will be a giant enormous fork with a mozzarella stick at the end that's funny to see just because just imagine running around with the fork and a mozzarella stick at the end that'll just be hilarious to see within the game i don't think that's gonna come but it is an option that they have so it could come to the game again it's just a fan made thing so with a lot of these fan made concepts it's just something to give the developers ideas of what they could do maybe they won't take the exact idea but they'll change it up so that way they're not taking other people's artwork and design and they'll make it their own next up we have a skin concept gramps with his king get off my lawn this one was made by rex sadio this has 17.9 thousand upvotes over on reddit you guys it's pretty funny it's just an old man with his cane as his uh pickaxe i guess you can say this would be pretty cool i mean just an old dude running around killing people i mean it looks like it fits in the game it's a nice taller man that it, he's built pretty good it seems that in this game they have a lot of the males that are actually like built fit like really strong characters and this old man just looks like that man i mean and then his cane fits perfectly and that'll be a nice pickaxe that they can use within the game but this one this is the one that really caught my eye this is the one where I was like oh dang I gotta make a video because of this this would be really cool it's basically the werewolf transformation as you get kills this only has 3,900 upvotes and it's by Rex Sadio as well but my opinion dude this would be pretty cool man you guys know the pickaxe where the unicorn the horn gets bigger and it gets more colorful this one would be cool because if you have zero kills you'll start out looking like this every time you get a kill you'll transform into a werewolf three kills you end up looking like this your eyes will start turning fur will start coming out your clothes will get ripped and then five kills you'll lose your sleeves you'll turn even more into a werewolf and then who knows what if you get 10 kills and you're automatically a freaking werewolf in my opinion this is probably one of the dopest skin concepts that i could see where every Every time you get a kill, your skin changes. If they did this to the game with multiple different skins, I think it'll make the game a lot of fun because you can be able to see your character progress and you can see how good you're doing throughout the game. But with that being said, we have another cool one that I really wanted to show you guys. It's the Slurp Dude character concept. It's by Digital Drama. And this one is the Slurp Dude, man. I mean, we already know we have the Slurp axe that we, everyone loves using. That thing is probably one of my favorite axes. But what if they had a Slurp Dude that went with it? This is hilarious because it just reminds me of like The Simpsons or something. I don't know why it just it's a superhero that's like tries to be cool but he's not cool at all that's why i think it would be probably really funny if they brought this to the game he's got a whole bunch of mini potions around his belt he's got a slurp shirt slurp hat he's got a cape it's definitely hilarious it's definitely a cool concept and if they brought it to the game you already know i'd probably buy it every single one of these concepts that they bring i'm just being honest with you guys every single concept that they have i'd probably end up buying 
because they're creative and they're different and they're outside of the box. Now with that being said, we have another one that only got 3,000 upvotes, but it's still a pretty cool skin concept. It's the RoboCat face changing emoticon by Rex Sadio. He seems to be making a lot of these skin concepts, but he's actually doing pretty good with it. As you can see here, it's just a girl with a cat robotic mask and then her tail's like a cat robot tail and stuff like that. And then the face changes. It has different faces that if you can get a kill or if you're in combat, it has like an angry face. If you're healing up, it'll have hearts and stuff like that. It's pretty cool concept. The next concept is the two time champion. You guys already know Dr. Disrespect. This one's by Pegler Peglary. I don't know how to say it. It's a thousand five hundred upvotes on that one. It's the two time champion, you guys. It looks like a normal skin that you would see in Fortnite. He, they just added the mustache um, and then the shades that he wears. They could have made the shades like black because I think, I'm not too sure, the two time champ does wear like darker shades rather than that. But again, I could be wrong, but it's definitely a cool concept within the game. Definitely think they should add some characters like this. Some creators, like YouTube creators, like uh, the two time champion, Ninja, CDN and the third all these all these cool creators or twitch live streamers that actually helped promote the game just by playing it it'd be really cool if they actually added their own skin concept within the game now the next one guys we have an awesome skin this is probably one of my favorite ones probably my second favorite one on this list just because i've seen it in the game and i could see it actually happen this is by xbox one blows it's the person responsible for the graffiti scene around the map. It has 18.7 thousand upvotes. And if you guys look around the map, especially Dusty Depot, you'll see on the little tanks, there's a character engraved within the map. There's like a skin, or not a skin, but like a, just a character. It's just someone in the game, a cartoon sort of say, spray painted on all these crates all over the place. It would be actually really cool if they added this into the game and made him like a spray painting guy with the same face mask. He's got a skate park as a skateboard and a backpack as his back bling and then his little pickaxe would be a stop sign spray painted with a smiley face on it. This would be actually pretty cool. The I don't know why I like it so much. I guess because you see him around the game. So if you see him, it's like a unique character. Like who's doing this vandalizing, who's graffitiing all over the place. And it's this guy running around the map. I just think that was a definitely a very cool concept that they added to the game. So I had to put that on my list as one of my top favorite ones. Next up, we have Yellow Logic making a skin concept called Just a Kid from Brooklyn. And it's basically just a normal guy. It looks like a superhero like kind of Captain America with the little star on his arm and then he's got the Thunder's Might pickaxe which is basically like Thor's pickaxe I guess it could be like a a superhero themed skin. Yellow Logic also made another skin with 2,000 upvotes, and this is the Cyber Ninja. This one is pretty dope. It's basically a ninja, but it's a Cyber Ninja. It's a robotic ninja with blue eyes. It definitely looks cool. And then the pickaxe will be like a nice little sword with electricity flowing through it. Definitely one of the other cool skins that could come to Fortnite Battle Royale. Again, these are just concepts. If you guys really would like this to come to the game, vote down below your favorite skin concept. Who knows? Maybe somebody from Epic will see it, and then they'll end up seeing which one the most favorite and they'll bring it to the game it would definitely be cool to see one of these skins from reddit actually make it to the actual game the next one's a pop culture meets fortnite by sneaky paragon guys this one is kind of cool it doesn't really have like a 3d model it's just a drawing but it's still cool to look at because we have the criminal chemist this is probably one of my favorite ones to look at because just seeing a yellow guy in a chemist suit reminds me of breaking bad running around and then of course his pickaxe would be like a, a like a chemical type thing like something from like a your chemistry class or something you'll see definitely one of my favorite ones definitely if I saw this in the game, I'd probably get it. The black leather brawler, I don't know if I'd get it. Honestly, it's just a normal skin. It doesn't look anything special. But the canvas one is definitely a go for me. And those are basically all the skin concepts that are I've seen on Reddit recently, guys. But this next thing we're going to talk about is something completely different. This is huge. What if we're able to customize our own character skin within the game? This one, this one, he said it's by LMAO Hugo. Fortnite customizable skin concept. Big credits to Graphic Hunters for inspiring me. So so this is what he ended up posting and it's basically like camouflaging your own astronaut instead of having the black astronaut suit with the lines through it he ended up putting his own paint themed on it which was like red camouflage red and black camouflage which in my opinion this looks freaking sick man imagine if you could customize each skin on its own and with that being said we're cover we'll cover some of uh graphic hunters actual designs himself because he's actually really good when it comes to editing his own designs and stuff so he's the one that originated the skin concept the weapon cus concept of customizing your weapons and your skins but these are a few ones that he actually made himself so first off we have the ksi outfit which is basically him with his boxing gloves and he's got his belt on that he won for the youtube boxing belt i guess whatever they say just another cool skin that they have he's wearing his black bandana and he's got a black bandana satchel going around him it's definitely a cool concept it's cool to see stuff like this because just seeing fortnite skins created real life people created into fortnite skins is also a cool thing next one we have is ninja of course you guys know 
Ninja is probably the most popular Fortnite streamer out there. Everyone wants to see him with his own skin. This is a snether skin concept that they made representing Ninja. I think it's pretty cool. Definitely would be cool to see a sword with the katana, as a, a katana as the pickaxe in the game. And then the last concept he made was Dr. Disrespect. This one just looks like a normal one, but in the motorcycle helmet, you can see the glass broke and you can see Dr. Disrespect with his, uh, his sunglasses on even underneath the motorcycle helmet. He's standing there and his arm glows like a little two-time championship club. Definitely another cool skin that he made over on his Twitter page. If you guys want to go ahead and check out his Twitter, go check it out. Some of the cool things he actually posted is a customizable skin. So as you guys can see, the Raptor skin, you guys know this was one of the legendary skins. And as you guys can see, in this picture, we can change a whole bunch of different things. We could change his head, what kind of head he wears. We could change his jacket color. And then we could probably change his boots and his pants and stuff like that. So in my opinion, I think this would be really cool. At different levels, you can unlock different things. Again, this game is only in its early access stage. So this isn't even the game fully done developed yet you guys they're still creating the game it's kind of like the beta phases of the game they released it to the public so the public can give their opinion on it so that way they can get ready and release the actual game so it's crazy to think that now this day and age we're playing betas so realistic to the game that we're getting so much in the beta version that it feels like it's the actual game like this is only the beta you guys so when the game actually releases that's when they'll probably have custom games they'll have customizable skin they'll have customizable guns they'll have a rank system they'll have all that stuff and in my opinion that's definitely something cool and ex i'm super excited to see that coming to fortnite battle royale he also posted on his page this picture with the dark knight you can actually change the dark knight's i guess armor color and then he has like a nice little uh, led thing glowing animation thing glowing out of his like wristwatch or whatever you guys want to call it but if you look to the right you can see you can have different helmets you have a green helmet with the little evil laugh or smile on it you have the normal blue helmet and then you have the red fire helmet which looks freaking sick definitely think that if they add this in the game it'll be something really cool you can see that he added the Ali A's logo in it and I think the reason he did this is so that way he's being smart he added Ali A because he's the biggest youtuber when it comes to Fortnite because if Ali A sees this Ali A is probably going to make a video about this and get him exposure so he's going to be able to get people to notice his channel but guys again i left every single person that made their channel art i told you who it was from and where i found it from if you guys want to go check them out go ahead and check them out over on reddit or twitter graphic hunters is the twitter but i hope you guys enjoyed this video again please give this video a thumbs up leave down in the comments below which one you think would be the best one that you would want to come to the fortnite battle royale with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed this video please give this video a thumbs up and i'll see you guys in tomorrow's video peace